Hey guys, it's me Felicia Lazelle and I am back again with another interior styling video. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a bed. Yes, make a bed. I know you guys are thinking, Felicia, we learned how to do that in kindergarten. Some of you maybe before, you know, all you overachievers out there, you probably learned that too, um, right after you learned how to read. <laughs> but today, I'm going to teach you guys how to make a bed. And when I talk about making a bed, I'm talking about layering a bed. So many of us buy a comforter or a bed in a bag with a few toss pillows and we think we're doing something, and you're not. So what we're going to do today is we are going to buy low-priced to mid-priced I throw a little bit of high end in here as well but we're gonna show you how to put all these design elements together to get a nice layered designer look for your bed so you want to start off with your fitted sheet and flat sheet in this case we did not use a flat sheet um, and then your coverlet or mat lise this is the actual cover you will sleep under on your bed and this is a great place to bring in some color and some pattern, texture. Um, this actual quilt came in a bed in a bag with the comforter and two toss pillows. Then for added texture and practical purposes, I purchased a quilt. Be sure to always spread your coverlet finish side down so that when you fold it back the finished side will actually be visible and this just adds another layer to the bed more texture more color and warmth it's not just pretty it's practical and then you want to smooth and tuck of course we make military beds around here okay not really uh, lastly, the comforter, as with anything style related, is a matter of preference how you spread that. And in this case, it is strictly aesthetic. My daughter is extremely hot natured and she never uses her comforter for anything but decoration. I think our silky actually uses it more than she does. And then I'm casing her pillows and because my daughter has natural textured hair, she has to have a satin pillowcase. Those pillows are the pillows that she uses every day. And then the ones that I'm fluffing are actually decorative shams. And they just add more dimension, more height, glam. And then this is the high end element that we brought in. She got these pillows from Z Gallery for a Christmas present. I wouldn't really consider them high end, but they bring a high end element. And of course, we are making it rain, throw pillows up in this piece. I had a little too much fun making this video. <laughs> so the mermaid pillow came from Home Goods. So did the sprinkles. And the other two came with the bed in the bag. And Hello Kitty came from Walmart. And then we added a throw. And voila, we're done. That, my friends, is how you add a designer look to your bed. Texture, dimension, pattern, color.